I'm Perch Perkins, and here are tonight's top stories. First, the Bikini Bottom housing market is booming as new apartments have opened up inside SpongeBob SquarePants' pores. The apartments reportedly offer jaw-dropping balcony views from SpongeBob's heart to his kidneys. Nice! And then, the Krusty Krab has been hit with their 80th health code violation, marking a new record for one week. Gross. Lastly, our top story, a worm-faced monstrosity, was spotted near Conch Street, begging residents for a hug. That's disgusting! Who would want a hug? Ugh. And later, we'll be reading fan letters. Stick around to find out what Plankton thinks about our show. If he doesn't like it, we won't read it. My leg! And now a word from our sponsor. The Bikini Bottom Inquirer is brought to you in part by Stinky Pits, Extra Strong, Anti-Deodorant. Now in all new scents, Patrick Star's Breath, Drinkable Sausage, and a Literal Trash Can. Check out what everyone's running from. I did not need to see that. Ugh. Wow, this stuff really works. Ugh, this is going to come off, right? Right? <laughs> no. Back to our first story, new luxury condos have opened up inside SpongeBob's pores. These exclusive properties are accessible by parachuting from private jets. According to Water b, b this special deal also includes a continental kelp breakfast and access to a rooftop grill, which is conveniently located next to SpongeBob's brain. Oh, wow. It's a lot smaller than I thought. My brain's obviously much better looking and bigger and smarter. -er. Er, see? I, I swear, that's not mine. However, it could be months before a room opens up inside SpongeBob, as the current guests are wealthy, out-of-town worms. Where did these worms come from? Scientists believe they could be in the same family as the Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> Imagine being related to an Alaskan bullworm. You'd have to be some kind of barnacle head. <laughs> Kidding! Kidding! Can't anyone take a joke around here? <laughs> While the success of the real estate market has been great for Bikini Bottom small businesses, hundreds of noise complaints have been filed across the city due to the worm's excessive partying. The obnoxious noise even interrupted my beauty sleep last night. Luckily, you definitely can't tell because I'm wearing enough makeup. <laughs> zoom out, zoom out! Can we get a touch up here? In other news, just when you thought health concerns couldn't get any worse at the Krusty Krab, new reports have suggested residents are dumping literal garbage onto the restaurant's grill. A new rock bottom for Mr. Krabs. Rock bottom. Coincidentally enough, customers are now flooding to rock bottom for dining options to get a cleaner meal. Hasta la vista, worm boy. And don't come back until you're dewormed. The Krusty Krab is now enforcing a no shoes, no shirt, no worms, no service policy. I'm waiting for Mr. Krabs to implement a pants policy. Hint, hint, Mr. Squidward. It's time to take a call to discuss the health concerns at the Krusty Krab. It's time for Perch Phone. Perch Phone. Bubble Bass, you're on the Perch Phone. Are you aware that the Krusty Krab has been serving Krabby Patties contaminated with garbage? Hey, what? I just had a quad burger delivered to my house. Well, there's no way you can eat that now. It was made near garbage. <coughs> Bubble Bass, you there? I said your burger has literal trash in it. That's it. I'm going down there right now to see if they have any more of those trash patties. It was delicious. Yeah, say what now? Mother, I'm hungry. Let's go. Okay. And now, breaking news. This afternoon, local residents reported that a worm-faced abomination was wandering around 124 Conch Street begging for a hug. We need a hug. <laughs> We now turn it over to our second best reporter, who is live at the scene. Bikini Bottom's second best reporter, Lurch Lurkins. Hey, Lurch, 
What's new in Bottom Feederville? I'm looking for a new job. You want to leave the Bikini Bottom Inquirer? Is this because of someone you work with? Yeah. <gasps> I know who it is. Our intern. You're fired, Birch. So, I have a hunch on who this monster could be. Really? I don't think we've seen this worm-faced monster and my ex-wife in the same room. <laughs> oh, I miss her. Well, thanks, Perch. I'm live on Conch Street, following the appearance of a worm-like creature. The monster could have caused some serious collateral damage if it wasn't for local hero and definitely not famous clarinetist Squidward Tentacles, who sprayed the monster with a hose. After the water subsided, the monstrosity was revealed to be Squidward's neighbor, SpongeBob Worm Pants. Seriously, the SpongeBob Worm thing again? Did nothing else happen today? I now have an exclusive interview with one of the worms that's been living inside of SpongeBob SquarePants. What's it like to live in Bikini Bottom's hottest new neighborhood? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. I have no idea what it just said. Back to you, Perch. Thanks, Lurch. What a can of worms that was. May I just say, what a wonderful job you just did. Really? You mean that, Perch? What? No. I was talking to myself. I, you, I, I, I can't believe you. Yeah, all right, cut his mic. I quit. <laughs> oh, classic. And now it's time to read some fan mail. Junk, junk, letter from my mom. Great job as always. Oh, tell me something I don't know, lady. Oh, here's one from Lurch. Resignation. Hmm, not reading that. Oh, a letter from SpongeBob. It just says, the. Procrastinate much? Here we go. Dear Perch, I'd love to see a story on the secret formula. Mwahaha. Oops, I didn't mean to write out my laugh or this sentence. I'm a huge fan of the show, Plankton. Well, thanks for watching the show, Plankton. You're definitely our smallest viewer. I'm Perch Perkins, and that's all the news that's fit to float. Good night.